This is looking really good for Tesla stock investors. Remember the company that lost about half a million dollars for every single vehicle sold? Lucid? They certainly would not cut prices unless they absolutely had to. And guess what? They did cut prices by up to 18.8%. That's a huge price cut. Ross says Lucid is going out of business just a matter of time till the Saudis pull the plug versus losing billions of dollars. Farzad agrees, didn't think this was the case, but the writing is on the wall. You can now also lease a Lucid from $750 a month. Lucid is set to release their Q2 financials on Monday, so that will be a very interesting day. Supposedly, this promo only lasts until the end of August, but I am not so convinced. I think it is very likely that you will still see all of these pricing promotions after August as well. Lucid also had a special promotion that was valid basically until the end of July only, and now we do see a lot more price cuts. And now we'll go through some of the latest Tesla stock news. Remember when Tesla stock dropped on the earnings day? Well, Ross says here, Factset report said this is the most they have seen companies beat earnings and then sold off. An interesting new trend. One of the biggest was Tesla beating EPS and falling 10%. Many others like it. We have another Cybertruck video. This time looks like Tesla is producing quite a few more. We don't know really how many Tesla has produced. We don't know if these are production Cybertrucks, meaning these perhaps could be sold to customers. Maybe no, but if these are production Cybertrucks, this would be really great news, but I'm keeping my expectations low for now. One sort of newish detail perhaps could be is uh, look at the suspension. Look how low that Cybertruck is. I sort of like this low look. And James here was asking who knows how many Cybertrucks Tesla has already built in there. Uh, Ryan said that reports say nearly 15. If that's specifically in Giga, Texas, that would be pretty impressive, I would say, so far. But maybe Ryan meant the total number of Cybertrucks built so far, including prototypes, which then wouldn't really be that impressive. But if it's specifically about the Giga, Texas factory, that would be pretty nice. And James expects 100 deliveries for the Cybertruck this year. Elon Musk replied with really to this post from Sawyer. It will soon be possible to qualify for discounts worth $26,500 in Colorado. If you qualify for all subsidies, you could get a new Tesla Model 3 rear wheel drive for just under $14,000. That is insane. This is looking really good for Tesla. These are zero emission vehicle sales in California. We are now at 25%. That's pretty high. And just in 2020, we were at about 7.5%. But now we basically tripled in such a short period of time. Some other parts of the world will take a little bit longer to adapt to EVs, but this is inevitable pretty much in every place in the world. This is one of the longest tweets from Gary I've seen. Last tweet for now, many ask why I suddenly include an FSD OEM licensing deal on my catalyst list when I didn't before. I remain deeply skeptical that Tesla will be the only manufacturer approved for generalized driverless autonomy anytime soon since Tesla still seems unwilling to accept the legal liability associated with calling FSD level 4 which is needed to get a driverless autonomy deployment permit. If Gary means that this would happen within six months, meaning Tesla would have robot taxis on the roads with permits within six months, yeah, I agree with Gary's statement. I think that would be very unlikely because Tesla first needs to solve full self driving and then after that, they would still need to get permits and that does not get done in a day. If that takes, I, I would assume that will take some time. That said, many foreign OEMs, Chinese, OEMs would be an exception here, are nowhere in autonomy and looking out at one to two years of huge R&D and AI investment. Odds favor at least one OEM agreeing to an FSD licensing deal this year. I think it does make sense for an automaker to partner up with Tesla, but the question is, will there be automakers that are smart enough to actually go ahead and make that deal? Do not underestimate the 
I don't know, stupidity or incompetence of some of these automakers that completely missed the EV in transition and now are scrambling. They should be completely dominating Tesla, but Tesla is dominating them instead. How does that happen? Only if you are incompetent, lazy, or you take things for granted. The risk to a licensing deal is if one accident involving Tesla FSD occurs, there is huge brand risk to the OEM since autonomy directly impacts the safety profile of a brand. That's very different than a charging licensing deal where there's minimal brand or legal risk. Check this out. This is Volkswagen ID4 hitting a bicycle in a safety test. Here's an Audi also doing the exact same thing. It only got a score of 66%. You can see that uh, right here. A Mercedes only got a score of 80%. Hit a pedestrian here. By the way, where is Dan O'Dowd? How come he's not complaining about this? Polestar only got 80%. Oh, that hurt. Uh, BMW i4, only 71%. Here, BMW T-Series, 67% only. It doesn't look that good. So this issue of safety for these OEMs is really just a perception of safety because when you look at Tesla's scores, they are actually pretty good. For Mustang... It only got 69% here. That's pretty bad. Volvo only 70% and supposedly it's a really safe car. Mercedes EQS only 76% here. ID Buzz killed the Buzz by um, nipping the bicycle there. And then you can see Tesla here perfectly stopping and not hitting anyone. Although Tesla only got 82% for this one. This is a little bit weird because other vehicles hit uh, all of these figures and uh, they still got I think it was 80% for Mercedes and maybe Polestar too but overall look at this one 98% so Tesla Autopilot, Tesla FSD, Tesla safety software in the vehicle is really good any OEM that is not licensing this technology from Tesla is ju just not that committed to safety because Tesla has very good software Here's an interesting article from Bloomberg. Electric vehicles don't do well in extreme heat. Here are tips on how to protect your car. A heat wave will cook your electric car battery if you let it. I know this is called Bloomberg Green, but they really should change it to Bloomberg Brown because this article is a brown piece of poop here. That is certainly not the case with Teslas. Maybe if you got some very bad EV, Maybe that's somehow possible, but definitely not with Teslas. The Prime Minister of Malaysia has told the civil service to shed their old ways in getting things done by taking note of the efficiency shown by Elon Musk's Tesla. The Prime Minister said he was impressed by how fast Tesla moved in to set up its headquarters in Malaysia. As a Tesla stock investor, I like hearing this. The Prime Minister says half a month ago, he, Elon Musk, gave his commitment. Ten days ago, he sent his regional chief to meet me to tell me they are buying a huge building and they want me to officiate the opening. Is that BMW broken? Yes, it is. How did it break? It tried updating itself over the air and unfortunately, the owner of a vehicle was away from home on a trip, basically, and... The update, which was supposed to take just 20 minutes, turned into this whole big headache where he had to call BMW emergency service to tow the car. With a Mercedes vehicle that I had recently, I had a somewhat similar, although not exactly the same issue. I got a recall which said that the car will update itself over the air and I read that letter, I threw it out and then turns out it didn't update itself. I had to take my vehicle into a dealership to do a software update. I never had any problems with our Model 3 being updated over the air. Everything just works. One of my friends who owns a Model X, he had one issue after an update where he would take his home charger and when you would try to charge the vehicle, the charging port would not open. You would have to open the charging port either from inside the vehicle or uh, from your app. Normally, when you grab your charger, the charging port just opens or you press the button on the charger and it just knows that it's a Tesla and it just opens. That didn't work, but 
that was because he had his update settings on advanced if you don't want any bugs make sure that your software update preferences are set on standard clean technica is reporting here that used tesla model 3 is now eligible for the four thousand dollar used vehicle tax credit in the us now this is great for us transitioning to electric vehicles but for tesla specifically I'm not really sure because that puts pressure on new car pricing as well. So this is a bit of a mixed bag, but personally, I'm happy to see this. I want to see more electric vehicles on the roads. These are the requirements that you need to meet if you are thinking of buying a used one. And YouTube says you should watch this video next. But if you haven't finished watching this Elon Musk interview, watch this one first. My name is Matt Post. Just like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.